Hello, welcome back to another video of Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation Tutorial Series. In this video, we will talk about the form methods. Okay, so if you open our custom form, you can see that we have a form here, and in the in this section, you can also see that there is a method section, right? And if you we'll open it, try to override this method. There is a several methods that you can override, right? But if you want to see the code uh, of this particular method that you can see that there is no methods are available at this point of time right but if you'll go to the cast table and if you'll open the method section you can see there are several types of methods are there which is actually used in this particular form right so you can override so we know that forms are main element of finance and operation development Many standard forms are already available in the application that you already know and you can also create new forms. Each form consists of form methods which, which can be classified as a standard methods or the custom methods. Okay, and a standard method must have the super call to implement the parent method. Standard and the custom methods are available with all standard and custom forms you can extend the existing form methods and include code by using the chain of command that is also possible now we will talk about some standard form methods for example uh, you know that it's having the init method also it's having the close method close cancel method close ok method run method so these are some standard method for the forms if we'll talk about the data source level method there is also init method for data source also active method uh, is there validate write method is also there validate delete is also there uh, execute query is there there is a init value methods are there write method is there uh, delete method is there okay so and also there are method source uh, data source field level methods are, are there for example modified methods are there validate method is there uh, lookup method is there uh, in case of extension of a form method there are several types of method that you can use and also in case of extension of a form data source method you can also use uh, several types of methods for example init value method is you can use there okay now if I'll talk about the init method so let's uh, see that how we can use the init method in case of our uh, this particular uh, employee table form right so if you want to override one particular method then just click on this override and all these methods you can use so here you will be able to see there is a method called init method so if you'll type here init so you'll not be able to type here you have to search it from here you can see there is a init method so just click on it so we'll go to this particular code section that is the xpp file and you can see that this employee table form is extending the form run uh, class right so you have to remember this we can utilize all the necessary methods and properties of the form run in this uh, particular form and uh, you can see their attribute is there which is actually saying it is a form and you can write the all the necessary code inside this particular init method and why super is actually calling here because super call to implement the parent method so that's why we can use the super method over here now this particular init method this one is the standard method that's called when a form is actually opened uh, this method help to initialize the form and it run after the constructor method that is the new method okay and this init method is responsible for creating the runtime interface of the form and it having uh, several types of need or we can use this mostly uh, for example to initialize the form level variables we can use this init method uh, the second point that is you can get the parameter data from the arguments uh, within this particular new method also we can initialize the data source query you can in this uh, init method also you can set the properties of the controls that are not record dependence so you can also use uh, for that case also 
and if you want to modify uh, to the data source if you want to uh, do some modification to the data source it should be done only after the super call because the base initialization happens there okay so if you want to see we can uh, we are not writing the any code over here so if you want to see the code in the cast table uh, init method that you can see okay So here you can see that we have a init method for the cast table. This is the standard uh, uh, table. You can uh, see the code from your uh, application explorer. You can search it at the end. You can see. Okay, and you can see there are various types of uh, variables. There is cast table data set is setting false. Okay, as well as the customer table configuration enabled that is actually setting in this init method. Okay and which is actually boolean value so it will set the true and false and based on this particular operation you can see that uh, it is trying to check the equality so it will give you the true or false value based on the uh, code that is present over here so like this one you can see there are several types of code and it is actually initializing the value for example is cast table data sets is there right so based on this form run you can use uh, this particular method so you can check all these codes slowly and you can try to understand the code what uh, act actually they are doing the init methods okay so you can see that there are several types of code but maybe in your project if you want to do implementation uh, maybe that init method you, you have to write a few lines of code okay so other than this one now let's go to this new init method once again so other than this init method we have the close method so if you want to override that one that is also possible here is the um, close method you can see there is a close method okay so let's try to understand that why what is the close method actually doing over here or when it's required the close method is a standard method that's called when a form is actually closed and the super call in this method closes the form manages the database updates and sets the close method to true you can use the close cancel method or close ok method to initiate the close method so uh, before the close method you can use also close cancel or close ok method uh, to call this particular close method to or to initiate the uh, close method and additionally you can also use the close method to forcefully clear the value of some variable or to deallocate a class make sure you complete this action before the super call often the number sequence classes are called uh, from the close method to facilitate an about operation so other than this one close we have the close cancel so if we'll see try to see here just let me override you can see there is a close ok method there is a close cancel method so let's discuss about this close cancel the close cancel method is a standard method and this is called when a form is cancelled so let me click the close cancel you can see that in the close cancel we have a super method and the super call is the method updates the boolean value of closed cancel and it show ensures uh, that the modification in the form are not saved okay and as well as we have we'll check once again if we'll go a little bit over here and if we'll try to override there is a close ok method right so if we'll click over here you can see that we are getting close ok and it is having the boolean value ret return and if uh, return is there we are initializing it to uh, super return and then again after that we are uh, sending ret okay to um, the calling method uh, close ok and this particular close ok method is a standard method that's called when a form is closed by selecting the ok button and the super call in this method updates the boolean value to the close ok and calls the close method a again if we'll go a little bit over here and there is a run method right you can see there is a run method so if you click over here 
you can also see that there is a super call over here so why this particular run method is there and why it is actually used the run method is a standard method again and that's called immediately after the init method okay and the super call in this method makes the form window appear on the screen and performs a database search for the data to be displayed in the form so now uh, one point is there why is the reason for overriding this uh, particular run method so we need to activating or deactivating some fields we can modifying the query with this run method okay so other than this one we have several methods are there you can also use them for example args is there can close there closed is there okay so there are several methods you can read from the image 10 document for each and every method because uh, we i am not be able to uh, explain each and every method and i will not be able to show you each and everything by the practical example you have to do some research on it and you have to understand why these methods are actually used in the case of uh, x plus plus and in the form level you can search in the google ms and document form methods and you will be able to see each and every explanation for all these methods and also you can see how you can call these methods who what they actually return okay so you had to do it by yourself so thanks for watching this video see you in the next one till then take care bye bye